Hey Dexter Lake, I'm Danielle Harvey and I'm bringing you our next 365 Devo. Today we are in John chapter 14 verse 27. In the New King James Version it reads, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give. Let not your hearts be troubled, nor let it be afraid. This week I really want to challenge you to take your anxious thoughts, all of the things that we like to loop on, overthink about. Woo, I'm preaching to myself. I am a world champion overthinker. My cardio is jumping to conclusions and I'm tired. So this is for me too this week. But I want us to take all of the worries, all of the anxiety, and I want us to choose to let it go. I want us to choose to go in worship and in prayer and take this verse and apply it. When Jesus said, I give it to you, let's take him at his word. And let's receive it and let's have open hands to do that. On Sunday, I was teaching about giving and receiving to my kids and I was using Tootsie Rolls because candy is kid currency. And I had already given my kids good things. They already had Tootsie Rolls. They were counting them. They were eating them. They were wrapped up in the good stuff I had given them. But I had more for them. And God has more for us. And I told my kids, I said, hey, you may want to have your hands up and free because something's coming. I feel like that's what God is telling us too. Something's coming. You need your hands free. You need your mind free of anxiety and worry because good things are coming your way. And I don't want you to miss it. I didn't want my kids to miss it. And the ones who took me at my word, they immediately dropped the good things that I had given them. They immediately dropped those Tootsie Rolls and they had their hands up. They were like, I don't know what you're about to do, but I believe you and I'm ready to receive it, Miss Danielle. And I flung Tootsie Rolls across the room and they were snatching them out of the air. And the ones who didn't hear me or didn't believe me, got hit in the face with Tootsie Rolls. I don't wanna see any of us hit in the face with blessings. It's way more fun to catch it. And then to clean it all up, right? But I didn't stop there. I had more blessing ready for them. So I was actually getting ready to scoop again. And the ones on the front row, the ones who were closest to me, saw that motion and they went, ooh, I know it's about to come. And they threw down what they had just gotten and they <laughs> got ready again. They were like, okay, more is coming. I'm ready, I'm ready to receive it. I want us, to be a people who notice the move of God. We're so close to it that we say, ooh, I saw it then and I recognize it now and I'm ready for it. And in order to do that, we need to have that peace that passes all understanding. We need to be people of faith and action and our words will reveal what is in our heart. So if we are anxious in our heart and in our mind, our words are gonna speak it. This week, seek out some accountability in that. Say, hey, I am choosing to stand on John 14, 27. I am choosing to receive that, that peace I believe him, I'm taking him at his word, and I want you to hold me accountable. If you hear me speaking anxious thoughts, point me back to this verse, please. And let's watch God just transform our homes this week. Can't wait to hear how this impacts you and your family. And I'll talk to you later, Dexter.